Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and I want to give you a update of what is going on. So, I think my last video was about pain. I've been in pain for days. Uh, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that first, before I go into other things. Um, so, first of all, thank you guys for all your kind words. That was very nice. Um, people that are not being respectful just get deleted. I don't have time to waste on that. Um... So, pain has been an ongoing thing for me for many, 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 many decades. Um, I think I've always really suffered with pain. Um, it's just as I got older, it got worse. The pain got worse. And obviously, as you guys saw, I really wasn't having a lot of pain because I was taking my naproxen. I was told to go off my naproxen, and that is when the pain got severe. Like crippling, can't do anything, severe. But it also got us a way to evaluate what is really going on and the things and the steps that I need to take um, to, you know, resolve the issue. Now, there's a lot of issues going on. So, first of all, last night I ended up going to the ER hoping to get an MRI. They do not do MRIs in hospitals. I was at least able to get an x-ray. I think I was in and out really fast. The fastest ER stay I've ever been at. Um, but there's really nothing they can do. I wasn't trying to take medicine. That wasn't what I was there for. I really just wanted an MRI. And um, so I had called the doctor this morning and they called me back basically saying, we don't do that, blah, blah, blah. Um, we wouldn't order it until we saw you, blah, 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 blah. So I tried calling my, P, uh, my, my primary care doctor, but he's actually away. Uh, he can still receive messages, but most likely, because I'm going to be seeing my back doctor on Wednesday, most likely he's not going to want to get involved. So, PT this week has been really hard, and I know my, my PT guy felt really, really bad how I felt. Um, I even expressed that to him that I know that you felt really bad because he just didn't know what to do, you know, for the pain. Like, he's just like, I can't, I can't get rid of your pain. Like, there's nothing I can do to do, you know. And I told him, I said, I know that. I'm not here because of that. I'm here to learn how to, you know, do PT stuff. <laughs> so, um... I knew he couldn't, and I, but I knew he felt bad, and he did put some tape that helped a little bit, and then I went today for a different type of massage. Uh, my massage therapist recommended a different person that she's going to be trying to work in her same office, and he does something totally different. So he's not like massaging and massaging you, it's just a little different, and what he's trying to do... So what he said is that what I have is years and years and years of stress built up. And uh, I guess it's part of the over overcompensating. Like my body is compensating for all the other parts of my body. And my back's taking a beating in the process. But my muscles have uh, five, 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 phasia or something like that. So... It's, I don't know, he explained to me what it was, but it's like, what it's happening is it's kind of like an elastic on your, um, on your muscles, and we have to release that to, um, get them to breathe, and, um, after, I mean, I still do have a little bit of pain, but I feel a lot better than I did before I went, um, so I'm hoping by taking my naproxen tonight and the next couple of days, by Monday, I'll start feeling, at least feeling a little better. Now, I know my body is just going to, you know, the, the naproxen is just kind of canceling the how my paint, my body really is. So now, I mean, the, the PT guy thinks I need back surgery. And I'm like, I'm not having back surgery without having top surgery first. And, um... Which is not, like, you know, I'm not going to um, do that. And, uh, so, um, we're not, you know, going, oh my god, we're going to need back surgery now. But he's saying, like, you have a lot of problems in your spine. And, um, 
I'm hoping by getting the MRI we'll be able to show more and I'm hoping we can get all three or four MRIs like I don't have a problem in one I have a whole entire problem from from head to toe you know from the top of the spine to the bottom but it's like four different yeah it's it's crazy so um hopefully we can get better imaging by Wednesday I do have PT Wednesday I do have PT Monday and I think again on Friday um so I'm hoping by next week I'll start feeling a little better. I can do a little bit more. But even he's just like no swimming, no exercise, no nothing. Like I can do my stretches the best I can. Don't overdo it. And um, yeah. So that affects my life a lot because I can't lift now. I can't lift anything. Um, and even if I'm not feeling pain, I still should not lift anything. So I have to make accommodations for things. So uh, I am going to be selling a few of my babies. I'm trying to figure out how to go about doing that because of the lifting. Um, but uh, I don't, I'm not looking to get rid of all my babies. I just. I really need the money uh, so we're gonna go ahead and sell a few of the babies I need to make some product I need to finish kind of cleaning in here and in there and getting my area a little nicer so I can do this more comfortably I am sorry I cannot lift Jade, uh, uh, Javian um, Javian's right next to me I'll let you see a peek of him there he is sleeping so I can maybe like kind of move him a little bit and reposition him so he looks like he's doing something but other than that I cannot lift him um, now if that does come long term then I will sell him but for the most part I'm going to keep him because he's yeah everybody loves him on my YouTube channel so I definitely want to try and be able to doing but he's over 20 pounds and I can't lift a half a gallon of water so um, I'm sad because I can't do a lot of you know baby videos now I can do smaller babies like that I don't have a problem with and that would be a good thing you know I can do some NICU videos and stuff like that but um, you know I can make product and stuff like that but it's been hard for me to even do that kind of stuff because it's hard for me to sit um, so we're just, that's what's going on with that. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know. This is something I've been dealing with for quite some time. And we're trying to get to the bottom of it. My back doctor says top surgery is a great idea. We should definitely do it. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, I was thinking about actually calling the surgeon to see, uh, if in insurance approved it yet because if not then if I had a letter from my back doctor if that would help make it go faster so we can get approved and be done with it because this is now not just a transgender thing this is now a medical necessity um, I should have gotten a letter from her stating that before I saw him and I didn't and that was kind of dumb so I didn't think of it and uh, so we're waiting for that because once they approve it, um, we can get a date set. And we're looking like January, February, so I need to hurry up so I can get a date before March. Because basically they said I'll be in pain until I can get at least top surgery. And then I'm getting, being told um, that uh, you may not even qualify because of your back and blah, 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 blah. So... But I'm like, as long as they don't say anything, then how, how are they going to know? And if, you know. So, I don't know. I mean, I would even say if the back doctor says, yeah, I think this is definitely surgery now. I'm going to be like, well, why don't we do top surgery first? Get that over with. See how I do. I'll have a little less weight. Be on testosterone for like six months. And go from there.
if I st if we still feel that I need surgery, you know, in six months, then I'll think about it. But the naproxen works, and uh, no other pain medicine works like naproxen does for me, anyways. So once that's back in my bloodstream, flowing and doing its thing, I'll start feeling better. I just have to remind myself now. To be really careful because I was told today that if I don't have back surgery, I most likely will be paralyzed. Um, and probably sooner rather than later. So it's definitely a concern. And I'm like, I don't want back surgery. I don't know anybody that's had back surgery that's had good success. <laughs> so um, people usually end up having to go in back again and again and again and again. And I don't want to do that. So, But anyways, it hurts to sit here. So I will talk to you guys later. If you like this video, don't forget to like down below. I am going to do a few more videos discussing a couple other things. I thought I would just do a video quick update and let you know what's going on with that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to comment. And I'll see you guys back here the next time. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe. Enjoy your night.